in this video we are going to perform a practical in which we will develop a login page using servlet in the login page we will accept the username and password from our user and if the username and password match a certain value we will display the message hello username otherwise we will display the message login failed now the same question can be asked in another way that is write a java program using servlets to authenticate users username and password so let us quickly start with the practical as usual we will create the project first to create a project click on file new project from categories choose java web from projects choose web application next i am giving the name as login demo servlet click next ensure that the class for server is selected click next no need to choose any framework click on finish once this is done again index.html page will open make following changes to it first of all supply a title this is a login page so i am giving the title as login page now we need to create two fields and two buttons so let us start by creating the form form tag inside that action attribute action attribute we have to give our servlet name so i am going to create a servlet which is called as login servlet see how i am writing capital and small form tag will close now i want the user to enter username and password so enter username how to take the input input tag type is equal to text name attribute is very important because we are going to fetch the value of username entered by the user in the servlet using the name attribute so here i am writing txt username i am making u and n capital now i want the next text box on a new line so i am writing br br it is up to you whether to write it or no but it gives you a better look and feel so enter password again the same thing as i have written above input type equal to text name equal to txt password again br br now two buttons that i want so first of all submit button input type is equal to submit value is the value that will be displayed on the button so here i am writing login i want the next button now which is a reset button that is a clear button so here type is reset again and value is equal to clear value you can give anything as per your choice but the type should be submit for the submit button and to reset the content it should be reset now our form is ready let us run run this and see whether the form is getting displayed properly or no obviously it will not work because i have not created the servlet but at least the gui part we will check when you are running it for the first time it will take a few more seconds to run so just wait for that much time because it is starting the server and everything so it takes time so this is our login form 
now we will create a servlet so how to create a servlet right click new servlet now what servlet name i should give exact same as i have given in the action tag so i am giving the servlet name as login servlet just check the spelling once yes so it is demo login that is my package name that i have given next very important click on this deployment descriptor add information to the deployment descriptor and finish our servlet is ready as usual before writing the code in the servlet we will clear all the comments and unnecessary things from the servlet so i am clearing the comments now you can see how i am clearing it i do not want uh, the try block but i do need this line so i am just copying this line what is this line basically it is print writer out equal to response dot get writer and now whatever is there after try i will delete it okay so this is our clean servlet one more change before we proceed we are going to write the service method now the first step that we do is to fetch the data from index dot html so how much data we have we have two parameters one is username and second one is password so how to fetch it we will write you name equal to request dot get parameter and what was the name of that name of the uh, text box that we had given name of the text box was txt username and then we do the same thing for password also password is equal to request dot get parameter and inside the bracket we will write down inverted commas txt password now we have to write if else just to uh, check whether the username and password are matching with our required values or no so i'll write if you name dot equals now i want my username to be admin ampersand ampersand that is and operator password dot equals admin 123 now if the username and password are matching if the username and password are matching what should i display out dot print ln welcome username so how will i write it welcome space come outside the inverted commas give a plus sign and write the variable name that you want to display otherwise so else part what should i write out dot print ln login failed in inverted commas i'll write login failed so don't forget to give this an inverted commas huh? yes the string over here must be in inverted commas now this is our code that we have written let us execute it and see if it is running properly so username i am giving as admin password i am giving as admin 123 now if you see over here because i have written the type as text the password is visible now if we don't want the password to be visible over here what changes we will have to make we will have to 
make the changes in our HTML file. Instead of text over here, we will write password. Now, when you write password over here, you can see the change now. I have specifically shown this to you. Now I am writing admin over here, which is clearly visible. But now when I write admin123, it is not visible. It is coming as dots. This happens when we write the type as password. So whenever you are using any login form or anything, the password should always be written in this manner. So login, welcome admin. I will try once again. I am giving some other username password. Now obviously that won't be expect, accepted and I will get the display as login failed. This is all about the simple login form using servlets.